Hi guys, Jangro here, and this is Feed the Beast Stone Block 3. Brand new mod pack. This right here behind me is the lobby. This is what you see when you first log in. That's pretty neat. You can't break anything. It's just a lobby. It gives you a little bit of a look at what is in store. If you've never played a Feed the Beast pack before, you may need to get the Feed the Beast launcher. I'll put a link to that in the description. If you're used to CurseForge, it is not currently, at the time of this video, available for download on CurseForge, so you need to get the Feed the Beast launcher for that. This video is sponsored by Sticky Piston Hosting. I'm running on a Sticky Piston server. You should definitely check them out. If you want to try this mod pack out with your friends, you can get a free server for 24 hours, or if you want to buy a server, do so in the link in the description, and that will support me and this content. However, if you're going to get a server, support somebody. Your favorite mod, your favorite mod pack developer, they all have sponsors from hosting providers, and it helps them out a lot. I'll settle for a sub. Okay, to get started for real, we need to jump through this portal. And we're going to be presented with a start point. Uh, the original one is just, just a big room, but there are other options as well. We're going to take a look at them all. Let's do it. Okay, here's the original start. If you've played Stone Block before, this is what you're used to. Let's take a look at the others. This here is the cave starting point. Pretty neat. Here is a drippy cave. This is pretty neat. Some structures. A little bit of resources here. You can mine. Dripstone, that'll come in handy. This is the lush house starting point. It's a cave with some glowstone and azalea and a house to live in. Ooh, some good starting stuff. Barrels, cauldrons. And this here is a lushed mineshaft intersection. Finally, we have just a mineshaft intersection, not lushed. And I think we're going to stick with this. This one's pretty cool. Okay, here we are in the mineshaft intersection. This is a stone block which is like a sky block, which means there's special ways to do things. We're going to start probably by breaking something to get pebbles. Let's take a look at the quest book. This is a quest pack, so we're going to get guided through the whole thing. This is the welcome. My pack is placed entirely within an underground world. As you travel farther from your spawn point, you'll come across dungeons. Okay, so things spread out horizontally. There's a ring of dungeons and the nether and the end. That's pretty neat and teleport to other players. If you're playing on a server with, with others, you can, everyone's gonna get their own dimension and we can teleport between them, I guess. All right, we got some new quests here. How to actually start, some more commands, and there's events. So we're gonna keep an eye out for some events, I guess. We won't spoil it. And now we've got getting started available to us. This is the main progression that we're gonna start on. Let's quickly look at storage too. There's pocket storage and backpacks. Oh, what's this down here? Here's a stick. So I don't know if that was was one of the events. This stick is not Groot. So we got a stick. Nice. All right, back in here. Let's check out the. So we've got we've got backpacks and and pocket storage. Let's look at pocket storage. All right, this isn't too difficult. And common backpack. Some dye and leather and stuff. So not gonna be able to do that yet. But we'll progress toward that. And finally, let's head into getting started. So the first thing, break some stone with your bare hands. And we can eat pebbles, apparently. So let's head over here. There's no stone there. Here we go, bare hand. And we've got pebbles. Oh, we have to use a bare hand. Don't break it with a pebble or you'll get nothing. Let's get enough to make some cobble. I assume four of these is going to make a cobble. Get at least 40. Okay. And we can turn all of these into cobblestone. Let's look at our quests. We get random rewards, a trident. Okay. And we need to make a crafting table. I assume that is like this. It is. And we'll put this down here in the middle. Get our reward. Red laser lens. Okay. We 
you make chests, crooks, hammers. A stone hammer crushes mined blocks, dropping a more granular block. Mining certain blocks with a crook will make them drop items like saplings and seeds. And we can make a chest, make a chest out of stone. And we also want to try to get this, these things, gravel, dirt, sand, and dust. So if we crush, if we hit, hit gravel with a hammer, we get dirt, dirt makes sand, sand makes dust. And we need to find some andesite. Okay, let's keep going here as quickly as we can. So we make some sticks. I remember that's a hammer, but we can't make it out of cobble. Make a crook though. So there's a crook. Use a crook on dirt. Has a chance of dropping any of these seed items. Okay, so you need to find some dirt. We're gonna need to make some dirt. Let's get some more pebbles. And I'm breaking these with a pebble, which gives me nothing. Okay, need a hammer. We can make a stone hammer with any kind of stone. Oh, there's the recipe. I had that wrong. There we go. And we can crush these cobble with the stone. And we get gravel. We can crush the gravel and get dirt. And we can crush the, we're gonna keep a dirt. But we'll crush the dirt to get sand, and we can crush the sand to get dust. All right. And we're going to put the dirt down. And we're going to hit it with a crook. And we got a couple of saplings. Perfect. All right. Let's get some more dirt. Now we can create compressed blocks of things like this. And then if we put down the compressed block, we can break the entire compressed block and get, we get nine gravel. Let's put down a few of these and break them. We get, oh, watch out. What in the world? Where did he come from? Oh, well, we got his soul. Okay. Guess we need to light things up a little better. or stay in the middle. Maybe because we went a little too far out of the middle of this, we allowed mobs to spawn. So let's not go too far away until we can get this lit up. Okay, now we've got some dirt. Let's put these right here. So now we've got a sapling. Let's put them both down here. We can get two kinds going. And if we crouch, it will bone mill these trees. And we can use Ultimine on this. You can see if holding the tactic key in the upper left of the keyboard, and it's going to mine the entire thing. And if we use the crook on leaves, we get a bunch of drops. And I'm holding down the back tick, so it's going to mine the entire thing. Or a lot of it. From that, we get some apples, bunch of saplings. Don't have an ax yet. We can still mine those entire things. All right, let's check the book. We've got a bunch of stuff done here. We've got gravel. We've got dirt. We've got sand. And we've got dust. We made a hammer. What do we get for this? An iron wand. Is that a building tool? This we'll see. Get some saplings. We got a basket. And for wood, we get some logs. What kind of logs do we want? Let's just go for oak. And there we go. We didn't get any seeds from that dirt before. Let's, let's try this again. We're still not getting seeds. We're just getting saplings and vines. Why not? Am I doing it wrong? A crook. I'm right clicking nothing. I'm left clicking breaking. Ah, there's some seeds. It's just, just bad RNG. That's all. I got, 
I got one wheat seed from that, but that's enough. There we go. And clearly, we need a chest. So let's, how do we make a chest? Cobblestone chest, four cobblestone parts and parts, oh, diagonal cobble, okay. One, two, three, four. And a chest. Put that down here, fill it up with all our stuff. And there's our chest and a, another ranged here add on. I'm not a big fan of these rewards we're getting. Not super useful yet. Maybe we'll like them later. Okay, there's the basic stuff. Now we're moving into the bigger area over here. Oh, we got a mob soul. Cobble Gen Tier 3. Nice. That was lucky. Although we can't get it without making going through one, two, 1 and 2. But next up, though, in, so in, in Skyblocks, typically there's sieves that you put gravel, dirt, sand, and dust in to get all of the different items that you, that you need in Minecraft. So let's look at the millstone and what we can make with this thing. Here we go. Gravel. We're going to get iron if we put sand in here. Oh, it's just gravel that goes in there. We're going to want to do some bulk washing maybe. Yes, so bulk washing of sand. So the millstone's going to give us some, a few things from gravel, I guess, but we're going to want to get quickly into bulk washing. This is going to give us all kinds of stuff. Okay, we're getting dive bombed by mobs. There are some mobs spawning up there on that bridge, which is a problem. Don't seem to see me, but zombies are dropping once in a while. Let's try to stay out of sight. Before we head into the millstone, let's quickly take a look here at this tinker's tools. We need a part builder and a tinker station to get this. Made with some sticks and planks. Tinker station. All right, let's put these down right here. Oh, it's a loot bee. If we follow this guy around, go back, loot B. Oh no, the loot B. Stop putting things up there. I'm gonna climb up there? Am I gonna get attacked? Yes, I am. Let's try this again. What? The step's gone. Well, while I'm up here, I need this andesite. Oh no, I'm making it darker up here. Okay, let's finish putting the part builder and tinker station down. Now we can make we can make tools. So for example. In the part builder, we can we put a pattern in here. Okay, so if we put this in here, then we can make a stone pick head. And we need some more patterns. And we put patterns in here. We have a tool handle. And a round plate. Because those are the things we need to make a pickaxe. Well, for a pickaxe, we need this, this thing. What do we need for stone tool binding? Okay. And here, and now we have a stone pickaxe. Let's do the same thing with an axe. Axe head. Tool handle. Since we're in a stone block, let's 
Oh, it needs for an axe. Here we go. Okay, now we can guess mine a little faster. Let's check the quest book. Got the tinker's table. We got a hearthstone. Okay. Next thing is a melter. A seared melter and a seared heater. To get those, seared heater, we need seared brick. For seared brick, we need to smelt grout. Clay, clay balls come from... We're going to get clay when we get into bulk washing. Okay, so we, we need clay. So we need to get to, I think, we need to get to washing before we can get to the melter. So let's get going on the millstone. For a millstone, we need... The recipe for a millstone is a little bit different in this pack. Planks, polished andesite. Cogwheel doesn't require any andesite alloy, like I think typically you do in Create. We need polished andesite. And we did get some andesite. Did I, that andesite I broke up there did not drop. So I need to go down mining for andesite. Okay, so we need to get some andesite. And in order to do that, we need to go down in the world. And let's build some, let's build ladders. That should be good enough. And let's build right down in the middle. Why not? Until we get to andesite, which is, I think, I think it's about 50 to 60 blocks down. We got to make sure we don't get down below minus 60 or we're not going to be able to get out with our 60 ladders. Okay. We've got andesite. So we need a whole bunch of andesite. Okay. So let's make some polished andesite. We are going to need to plant some more trees. For that, we need dirt. And we lost our... Lost our hammer. Get another hammer. Get some more dirt. And let's plant some trees and get some wood. All right, now we have some, some logs. We need some planks from the logs. And we need some buttons. So there's a cog wheel. We need a hand crank. And a millstone. And we need another cog wheel so we can turn the millstone. And we'll put this right here. And the hand crank on this. Now if we put throw some gravel in here and turn this, we got two iron. I don't know if we got anything else out of that. Oh, jeez. This bridge up there is making things complicated for me. Okay, we need a bunch more. Bunch more gravel. Put it in our mill. And you listen till it's done. It's coal. Got some coal now. And some iron. There's one gravel left. Okay, we've got some torches now. We can light the place up. Let's prioritize that. Okay. I hope this I hope this solves our problem. Okay.
Okay, let's make a smelter and cook this iron we got so we can make some buckets, hoppers. All right. Let's check our quests. We did this. What do we get? Chainmail boots. Mob fan. Okay. So now we can make buckets to get water and lava that we can use to make a cobble gen, which we'll make because I got a free one, but we'll want to see how to make that. To get water, we right click a cauldron with leaves or saplings. And to get lava, we just have to rub a few sticks together, which is pretty interesting. With this thing right here, this fire plow, and we just like hold it over stone. And now we got lava. And we need to make a cauldron. We'll put the cauldron right here. And we need some saplings. Let's see. Oh, that was easy. That's a lot of water. Okay. Now we've got these things. Now we can make cobble gen. Tier one cobble gen. We need a bunch of compressed stone. So we've got to cook stone. We need to cook some sand. All right. So we'll cook one sand for some glass. And we need a bunch of cobblestone, which... I would have thought we'd have a lot of it. So a pattern and cobble makes a repair kit. Oh, here they are. Repair kit, stone repair kit. And then we just put our pickaxe with this and we get a repaired pickaxe. So let's continue this way and get some more cobble. So we need six compressed stone, which means we need six times nine, a stack. So Tinker's tools are nice because we can just repair them on the fly. Oh, one more. Okay, now we can make our cobble gen. Before we do, let's make chest to put under it. There we go. We've got our tier one cobble generator, which all we have to do is put it on top of, I believe, a chest, or do we put a chest on top of it? Let's try it like this. There we go. But we've also got this tier three cobble generator. Another chest here. Now we're getting lots of cobble. All right, no more mining for cobble. That's good news. We do get rewards for these, so maybe I should make the tier two cobble generator. We need to do that in a casting basin. I don't think we're going to quite go in that direction. We need a fan, andesite casing shaft and propeller, iron sheet we can make with a hammer and iron ingot, and we need an andesite alloy, which we need from zinc. We have some zinc. Okay, encased fan, propeller, andesite alloy, zinc nuggets, We've got that. Andesite. So we're heading back down to get some more andesite. We've got a couple of torches. Okay, there's a stack of andesite. Slime.
That's pretty lucky. All right, got some slime balls. Okay, continuing on. The case fan. Let's bookmark this. Propeller. There's hammer. So we need more iron. String and iron. We had some string. I can make two iron sheets. Get a couple of these. Get some more coal. Okay, there's our four iron sheets. Now we can make the propeller. Indesite alloy we can make now, and now we can make the propeller. We need andesite casing, which is andesite alloy used on a stripped log. So we put down a log like this, we right click to strip it, and then we right click it with zinc. Oh, I was doing zinc. Andesite alloy is what's needed. There we go. And a shaft. We need two andesite alloys for shafts. There we go. And now we can make an encased fan. Great. And now we need to figure out how to get this. I mean, we can just do a hand crank and do this the old fashioned way. Let's keep one log. And we can see the particles blowing out. So now we just need to get some water down there. All right, so some saplings. We've got lots of birch saplings. Let's. Let's get our water supply over here. We need some slabs of some sort. Wood, no, I mean not slabs, pressure plates. So wood pressure plates it is. And if we just put those like this and something to push against and a bucket of water right here. And now we can wash. And what we want to try to do is like wash some sand, right? Those are buckets. We got a stack of sand there. And we're washing the sand. All turned into stuff. We've got all kinds of things now. Raw silver, clay, appetite, copper. Let's put the stuff we got from that into that second barrel. And what's this, fluorite? What happens if we wash dust? It's a redstone, certus quartz dust. What else did we get? Skystone dust? Was that it? Oh, we got Ron Nickel, I think from I think that came from the sand. All right, let's check the book. We're washing. Oh, we got a tier two cobble chen. Nice. That was lucky. And an andesite casing, which is also lucky. 
Let's break our tier three cobble gen so we can get that reward. There we go. And we can put down the tier two and tier three. Although we're just getting a tons of cobble. What else have we got here? Washing. Ah, oh, nice. A random sorting modifier. Do you not know what that is? All right, how do we get soul sand? By combining sand, a mob soul, and some water in a mixer. A mixer? Like a create mixer? I don't think I can power a mixer with a hand crank. So the last things we have to deal with here are a crushing wheel, a mixer, which means we're going to need to have power for create, and these melters. All right, let's call it there. I think this was a great first start to Skyblock 3. We've got our automation. We've got the millstone and we've got washing, which is going to allow us to get all kinds of resources. Those are the two basic ways to get resources. We've got our cobblestone generators and there's all sorts of modded ways to turn cobblestone, mechanism crusher, things like that, to turn it into gravel and then to sand and then to dust. In the meantime, we'll use our hammer and taking a look in here, there's so much in this pack create on the tech side create which we've done some of immersive engineering we got the hammer industrial foregoing mechanism power rf tools thermal series there's magic mods in here batania blood magic ars nouveau and all sorts of uh, later end game stuff really there's just a ton to do all right so i hope you give this pack a try and this gives you the start you need to get yourself off to a running start Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.